So I have recently got into playing Uncharted 4 and soon to be releasing gameplay videos on my Addy's Games channel. But for now I've been playing it and I've played the full story mode and I'm about to play it again for Addy's Games. But there's a couple of things I love about Uncharted 4 and I didn't I wanted to do a list based video but I did not know how to do it. So here are the top five things I love about Uncharted 4. Alright, here's the intro. Number 5. The story of Nathan and Sam Drake. Now, from what I'm getting is that I think Samuel has not been in Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 but made his appearance in here by a um, fan and a well-known voice actor. This guy's played the Joker and Batman and Two-Face Troy Baker. Um, and the reason why I love the story of these two people because they go about that. Naughty Dog gives us a bit of a brief history of where Nathan grew up in and how Samuel got him out of that home and then they went freelancing and trying to get away from the police for something that they did not do. Um, and I just, I just find that amazing that we get to explore child Nathan and teen Sam and I also watched some footage that in Uncharted 3 you get to play as teen uh, Nathan in Uncharted 3, which I just thought that was amazing, but I didn't think the voice acting was not as good as Uncharted 4. So, um, yeah. Ooh, you gotta learn to watch your back. <laughs> Alright. Hey, it's good to see you, little brother. What was that? Really? Again? It's nothing. You told me you'd stay out of trouble, though. He was talking shit about us. So? He said that dad dumped us here because we're worthless and mom is in hell because- Nathan, Nathan, come on. They're just saying it because it gets to you, all right? You just gotta learn to laugh it off. You wouldn't. Well, do as I say, not as I do. Here, you'll catch a cold. So what are you doing here like this anyway? If the nuns catch you, they're gonna call the cops. Well, I got something for you. And I couldn't wait till Christmas. What? It's outside. What happened to us staying out of trouble? Uh, this is an exception. You know, I had my doubts about you too, but... Let's find Vargas. Get the hell out of the shithole. Oh. <laughs> Let me guess, this is the guy you picked a fight with? Uh... Didn't know he had so many friends. Te dije que no habíamos terminado. Mira, ya nos ganaste, okay? Muy tarde yeah. para hablar. Aquí no sales. Hey, you know. Sometimes this game feels like Arkham Knight. Now, in a way that I know that you can't fly around, but the stealth, the fighting style, and how the camera is kind of like behind you, I thought that was actually quite amazing. And it made me feel like, oh, hey, it's kind of feels like I've got a night in this because it has some of the same control cells. Yeah, I know that he, Nathan can't fly, he can't, um, and I know that Batman can't use guns because that would ruin his code um, not to kill. But at times, this, this feels like Arkham Knight. The last will and testament of the deceased, Thomas Wayne. In the event of my death, I hereby declare that all my worldly possessions pass to my son, Bruce Wayne. Bruce, I ask that you honor the Wayne family legacy 
and commit yourself to the improvement of Gotham City, its institutions, and its citizens. Please, be strong. You are young, but destined for great things. Make the most of your opportunities. Use them to give back to a city that has given us so much. To change the lives of millions of people. Do not be frivolous with this wealth. Please do not waste it all on fast cars and outrageous clothes and the pursuit. We were meant for this, Nathan. You, me, together. We were destined for something great. Those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. Took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Oh, oh, crap! Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves, digging around where we shouldn't. Shame we're not on the same side. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. So, are you ready to seek your fortune? Hang on, Nathan! Where is the artifact? That's all! Number three, one to another. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, by this, that I mean that you don't, you don't just play as Nathan Drake, you play as other people. Now, I just mentioned that you play as children, and you also play as Drake's daughter at the end, and you also in the little, I'm gonna call them little. I guess gameplays, I don't know. You get to play as Crash Bandicoot twice in this game, which is something that where the other games actually do. And you also get to play as Samuel in the breakout of the Prison Riot, which I don't think you've able to do beforehand. So you're able to play as so many characters, and I know with the multiplayer and the jump, whatever, you get to play as most of the others. But yeah, again, it feels good to play as other characters because the story feels real and you just don't know how much I love it. No big deal. Yeah. Nothing to it. Stay with me. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, totally. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, there's a jump coming up. Okay. Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No. No, just, uh... How do you, uh... How do you make it go? Push the start button. I knew that. All right. I got it. Okay. So you want to run towards the camera. Run to the camera. Got it. Yeah. Press X to jump. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Come on. That's like my thing. Okay. Run away from the boulder. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. That was, that was, that was not too bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a, like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot. Pedazo de mierda. la puerta. Nunca saldrás de aquí. Silencio. Jesus. These men are sadistic. We're doing the world a favor, huh? Here, you'll need this. You remember how to use it? Yeah, it'll come back to me. The Crash Bandicoot reference and Easter egg. Now, we all know about the gameplay that you're able to play from Crash Bandicoot 1, and we all know that this made it into the end But did you know that you're able to bring 
pick up a strange fruit as of a Wampa fruit and also one of the sound effects has been reused from Crash Bandicoot 1 to uh, Uncharted 4 in the multiplayer. I only knew that from watching the video. But yeah again it feels good because in this little gaming section that you, that you play as Crash the level is reused, some of the animations are reused, the controls are a bit weird and wonky they are um, and and do you know that thing that Crash does when he's, when he's just standing there just, just, he just does like he's stuck okay. remember that? yeah he does that as well and also if you beat the highest score he does that you know that, um, and, and there's some also some new animations in there as well. But I also thought they tried to make it different as well. But yeah, again, this is one of the coolest things, and well, I just love it. People, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot is the best. Why is the boulder chasing me? Just run away from it. I did nothing to this boulder. That was, that was, that was not too bad. What is that thing, a fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a, a fox in chains. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smashing crates? Bandicoot, and that's just, it's what he does. It's a fox, and it's not very realistic. Perfect. By the way, foxes can't do this. It's a bandicoot. That doesn't look anything like a bandicoot. Have you ever seen a bandicoot? Uh, no, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Oh, these graphics are pretty good, aren't they? Use your spin attack. Which button? Circle spin attack. Watch that pit. Oh, what happened? You fell in the pit. I know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not realistic. I, I would have climbed back up. He should learn to climb. Climbing's always helped me. That's life. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so got this. Okay, grab the fruit. What does the fruit do? A hundred gives you an extra life. A hundred? Who's got time to pick a hundred pieces of fruit? <laughs> Okay, you got it. There you go. Finally at number one, the whole goddamn story. Now, the story from Uncharted 1 to Uncharted 4, it gives you a brief history on the Nathan Drake timeline as of you can go ahead and buy the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection on the PlayStation 4 which has 1, 2 and 3 but the story does it so well to impact on everything in Uncharted 4 you get to see how their childhood was like you get to see how a normal life is like to coming back to being a thief and just doing this one more time and a little bit of how being a dad and also a mother is and also how good Crash Bandicoot is. But yeah, again, the story is fantastic and that's why I love this game to pieces. And I was quite sad when I actually finished it in the story mode the first time. But I'm happy to revisit this game anytime soon. So I hope you enjoyed today's list-based video. Now, um, it's going to be a bit weird for now on. As of, I'm not too sure if I'll be able to get them out normally as I am because as of tomorrow I will be on holiday and the vlogs will start uh, tomorrow as well. So yeah, something challenging. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this um, this space video and for more stuff like this, uh, please like and subscribe. Here's some stuff that you can check out and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.